This is an end to a beautiful era, a time in 2K where everything made sense. I can't stand the state of the game. Let's talk about it. Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. So first and foremost, shout out to all the subscribers, man. We on our way to 600k. By the way, shout out to everybody out there who made slashers and got the game for Christmas. Now, I know I didn't make any Christmas videos. I didn't make any helping new videos and stuff like that because you know what? I can't help myself and I want to help all the slashers out there by saying you just created a broken build. Welcome to the club. Now, the crazy thing is 2K literally patched the game and made shooters OP and decided to tell mostly all slashers, especially slashing shot creators, that you are worthless. And the reason that I say you are worthless is because you've made a build that does not work. Now, this is all about the rep method. This is all about helping you guys for all the slashers out there, as well as trying to balance the scales a little bit. Now, there are a lot of builds out there that work and that don't work. And one of these builds are the slashing shot creators. So for all my slashing shot creators out there, you may know this play. It is called Quick One Elevator Rip. Now, Rip is funny because RIP is really what this actual play is all about. RIP to Quick One Elevator Rip. Now, the reason that I say this is when you call this play, it is for a alley-oop. It is designed for slashers to get they stuff off. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to blow they load, as one would say. But when you call this play, 2K says, hold up now. We heard this play was cheesy. We heard you was getting too much from it. So guess what? We going to go ahead and nerf your my points and your bash progress from this actual play. Which means if you call this play and you do receive an alley-oop, you will no longer get a lot of my points. You will no longer get good badge progression. There's no reason to call this play anymore. Now, hold up. I know a lot of people out there like, hold on, Pod. You, you tripping a little bit. There's still other ways to get, it, get your shit off, man. Hold up. Now, I can tell you guys. It is the easiest play to get team takeover. You can literally get team takeover within a quarter. There's no reason to stop it. You can also go crazy with your shooters if you're playing a Hall of Fame like me to get that lead up. Now, remember when I say get your shooters. Now, this dude right here is a lock sharp, right? Clay Thompson, lock sharp, pulling from wherever, pulling from Uganda, God damn it, pulling from wherever you want on the earth and still hitting. Now, everybody knows pure sharps and pure stretches are cheese after the patch. Nobody likes shot creators no more. Nobody likes slashers anymore. People don't even like playing with their glass cleaners. Anybody who created a glass cleaner or a pure rim protector, they all created stretches because of stuff like that. Klay Thompson coming down twerking on them. But let's, let's talk back to my slashers for a minute. Let's talk back to my shot creating slashers. Now, check this out. Like I told y'all, if y'all want to run this quick one elevator rip, what I advise that you do is every time that you do call quick one elevator rip, you have the ball in your hands and you run down to the post. Now, if you're running down to the post, you can take advantage of the player that is guarding you. Now, this is all if you are running the point guard position, because we all know if you're a slashing shot creator and you're at small forward, you have to be at least, uh, I believe it's a 91 overall with franchise team tag so that you can change up the minutes, swap out players, change the playbook, the whole shebang. Now, what you want to do is go to the post. After you call quick one elevator rip, Everybody's going to go into place. It seems like it's going to clear out. And from there, you can abuse the post. Now, if you want to add a little bit on to that, once you do get to the post after quick one elevator rip, you can go in and call isolation as well just to make sure nobody comes over to try to help and abuse that quick post spin and go for that posterizer. If you are a slasher, it is now key, key for you to go in and get a posterizing jam. If you do not get a posterizing jam, your build is worthless. Now, 
At the end of this match, you guys will see how many my points I get. You guys will understand from what you see, how many uh, points you get towards the alley oop, how many points you get towards the uh, teardropper, posterizer, the whole nine, man. You guys will see it here. Now, I know you guys are looking at the score. You're like, bro, what happened? Why are you abusing the team like this? Are you playing on pro? There's no reason for me to play on pro if I'm running my rep method. There is no reason. But the only thing that does happen is when you're playing on Hall of Fame, once you get to around 30 to 36 points, you get double teamed for the rest of the game as soon as you get the ball in your hands. So if you are running quick one elevator rip, you will have to call it before you get past half court. Make sure you get past half court before 16 seconds on the clock. And then go back door, catch the pass for the dunk or the alley-oop. Now, you guys see, alley finishes. I got time six and only got 2,000 points. And you see, posterizing and dunks only got four and got 4,000. Thank you, 2K, for nerfing my quick one elevator rip rep method. But I still got 44 points in two quarters. I'm sorry, 44K. So that means you can get almost 90K in about an hour with this rep method. Congratulations. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm sorry. Uh, that dude, like, in the beginning of this video, don't mind him, man. He, sometimes, you know, he be going off the rails. He be tripping sometimes. This is why he will be getting invited to the 2K team up sometimes, because he like to voice his opinion. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Who is this guy? Who we talking to right now? Well, guess what? You talking to me, man. I'm just chilling. I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm on my way to 93 overall. Yes, what you guys were watching, that that dude, that was like a, a 91 overall dude. That dude was tripping his, he was, he was going crazy. I don't know what's wrong with him. But I'm almost at 93 overall, guys. And I want to make a video uh, probably later today. So what I need from you guys is to join my Discord. If you guys join my Discord with the link inside the description, I can tell you guys right now that you guys will be a part of that video. I'm gonna actually add a bunch of people to a party, add friends, send people messages, tell them to join my park, all that type of stuff. And then we're gonna upgrade to 93 overall. We're gonna go ahead and play a couple games at the park, record some footage, maybe live stream. And I want you guys to be a part of that. Also, another thing, for everybody that is trying to figure out how I got from 91 to 92 to 93, and you guys really haven't seen that many YouTube videos from me, I've actually been streaming a lot of my content on Facebook. So I'm grinding the game, it's just I'm streaming it on Facebook. Now, as far as my attributes go, um, I wanted to let you guys know that through the grapevine there has been somebody who put out like a document that um has like how many bars it's going to take people to get to certain overalls also i've also maxed out my badges so i have maxed out all of my regular badges the only badge i have left is alpha dog which is going to be somewhat of a grind maybe i'll do it on 2v2s or maybe i'll do it like on my career by you know being the center and stuff like that i'll show you guys a little bit of that in a second but um also Talking about skill boosts, I hate them. I'll probably make a video ranting about skill boosts a little bit later, but as a slashing shot creator, if you have this build, jump shots, steals, layups and dunks, ball handling and passing are going to be the boosts that you guys are going to want to get. And the funny thing is, that's too goddamn many, man. I'm sorry, I'm bringing a, I'm bringing a guy that was in a little bit earlier. I'm bringing him back, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and digress. Yeah, I mean, let me die great. Let me go ahead and chill. But uh, just to let you guys know, when grinding for Alpha Dog, this is another quick tip. You want to go to your My Minutes when you do have that franchise tag. You want to make yourself the center and try to ball with a bunch of randoms. Don't ball with good rebounders. Don't ball with people with good steal ratings and stuff like that. Because what's going to happen is, if you're trying to get Alpha Dog, those dudes will outshine you and you will not be able to get alpha dog so i got kevin durant ben simmons robert covington demarcus cousin all them dudes is on the bench because i need that alpha dog but i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you guys hit that like button quick one elevator rip rip to it i'm gonna holla at you guys later peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing